the U.S. Supreme Court is set to hear oral arguments on how Section 230 intersects with the First Amendment and if big tech social media platforms are violating the First Amendment. They're going to hear these arguments next spring and they're expected to rule by June 2024 in the cases of Moody versus NetChoice LLC and NetChoice LLC versus Paxton. The Supreme Court is set to hear these challenges to laws in Florida and Texas and that regulate social media content moderation, raising important questions about free expression online. Now, there's been long been complaints from conservatives about bias and censorship on social media platforms, particularly following the bans of Trump and the suppression of news such as the Hunter Biden laptop story, certain articles. On the other hand, many on the left are arguing that social media platforms need stricter measures to combat hate speech and misinformation, which they consider significant societal issues. Both the right of individuals, Americans, to express themselves freely online and the rights of social media platforms to make editorial decisions are protected by the First Amendment. The legal questions in these cases revolve around the state laws in Florida and Texas with the First Amendment, and if they comply with the First Amendment, and how Section 230 of the Communication Decency Act factors into the debate. Section 230, often called the 26 words that created the Internet, shields Internet service providers and companies from being held liable for what users say on their platforms. Its interpretation in these cases will be crucial. Previous Supreme Court cases have addressed similar issues discussing the liability shield for user content and the impact of social media platforms on public discourse. These rulings provide some context for the upcoming case, but they said it didn't reach Section 230 in the Gonzalez case versus Google. So we're going to see how this plays out and what's going to come of this with regards to having more free speech online and not totally destroying Section 230 and still being able to protect publishers or platforms, rather, while allowing people free speech. So we'll see how this goes. Hey, if you want to stay updated on this story and other stories pertaining to your liberty, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, follow, comment below. Let us know what you think about this and how the Supreme Court should rule. And we'll be back with more news soon. Take care.